Lawmakers are considering whether to eliminate two elected offices in the state. News 3 political reporter Jessica Arp tells us the people who hold these offices are split on what to do. Well, lawmakers have reduced the responsibilities of the Secretary of State and State Treasurer over the last few years to the point where some say the offices should be eliminated completely. Today, the Assembly Judiciary and Ethics Committee referring. heard testimony from the men who hold these two positions. The State Treasurer, Kurt Schuler actually campaigned on eliminating his office, while Secretary of State Doug LaFollette who has held that office for 37 years is solidly against the plan. If we fail in this endeavor to eliminate this office, then I think if it is incumbent on anyone who believes in good government that we restore back to these offices the powers that they have lost over the years, give them back their relevance, make the people of Wisconsin care about them again, one or the other. Why is it that we have this quirk that we should eliminate constitutional officers? Louisiana's not talking about it, you know, uh, Montana's not talking about it, Michigan's not talking about it. They all think it's fine to elect secretaries of state and state treasurers and give them important responsibility. The proposal is a constitutional amendment, meaning it would need to pass two consecutive sessions of the legislature and a statewide referendum to change the law that would happen over at least three years, which means the idea has a long road ahead. All right, thanks so much, Jess.